Well, Disney built an entertainment empire on the back of Mickey Mouse, and Japan's Sanrio Corporation has pretty much done the same thanks to that doe-eyed Hello Kitty character that has spawned a $5 billion a year marketing phenomenon. As Sanrio turns 50 this year, the company hopes Hello Kitty still has some product lives in her. We're joined now by Sanrio's chief operating officer, Ray Hatoyama. Welcome to In Business. Scarlett's here with me because Thank the two of us, much. I've got to tell you, we're sharing stories of being little girls and Hello Kitty fans. Oh, I, Thank I you pitched very much. many a fit asking for Hello Kitty products Thank for my you. mom. We love that. <laughs> so what's amazing is that so many years later, what she's now 36 years old her, herself. Not exactly. She doesn't have age. She, and she doesn't have a mouth. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, she has many many product lives because it right. seems like she keeps coming back in popularity. Exactly. Where's but the she big looks a little different now. She's got some more black in her as well. Like, the, there are shades of her being black and pink as opposed to just pink right. and red, right? Yeah, we always try to keep her fresh. Uh, she always has the classic side and also the new side. Always uh, two different uh, ways. But she's very simple. She can be anything. She's a movie star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know th there were some issues with making her a cartoon because she didn't have a mouth. How are you going to make her speak? And like, but you found other ways to to sell products. You just Li and mm -hmm. Fung, which you know, manufacture one of the biggest manufacturers uh, in, right. in the world and sourcers, mm -hmm. just put a one percent stake in the company. Right. Is that a sign that China is the frontier for you? Yes. There's two things. One is that, of course, China is a big market for us, so we are expecting there to grow. Uh, usually midterm so it's still the market is increasing but it's going to be three five times larger in uh, sooner or later and the other is that we are shifting our strategies to licensing so manufacturing or sourcing is not our core now and they are the great partner for that I have a question about when you expand in China. Obviously, Hello Kitty is not your only character. You have My Melody, Tuxedo right. Sam, Karopi. We can go on. But mm -hmm. do you develop a character specifically for a market like China, or do you come up with something that resonates in Japan first and then let it expand from there? Uh, let it expand from where we have, or where, uh, what we have in Japan. But uh, what, do the two markets want the same thing? Yes, uh, basically there's a lot of basic fans already in China. Uh, it's uh, how to penetrate the ma market or how to brand or market uh, in a different kind of way we used to do. One is that uh, we used to do some real store, just some real store, but now we are doing licensing, a lot of collaboration, to keep it up with the market, uh, keep uh, lo local people over there, and local partners, brands. Those are the things that we are investigating. And it's amazing to see how many things. We're just showing pictures of, these are the products you brought in today. And these these look like kids' toys and a Monopoly game and the like. We're showing a car. Mm -hmm. And you have Hello Kitty wine. I mean, right. you're putting the brand on a lot of different things. Exactly. And you've got a pop-up store here in in yes. Manhattan. So ha what, what is your consumer's age? This is lifestyle brand. So uh, we can talk, uh, spend Monopoly with the family. You can have a headset yourself. You can kick a uh, skateboard with Doc Martin shoes. <laughs> or you can have plush. Or you can have baby wear. It's a lifestyle brand. Uh, it's a multi-generation character. It doesn't necessarily have to be kid. We've seen that definitely in Japan. But how do you penetrate the US market or China with that when people haven't necessarily grown up with Hello Kitty from a young age. Oh, you just said yourself. People grew up, <laughs> and uh, we seen I'm that. I'm Chinese. I'm Asian. That's different. <laughs> uh, yes and no. Uh, we see a lot of uh, fans, but uh, we really didn't supply the market. We kept our distribution very small mm -hmm. uh, for just some real distribution. Now we are opening up to a lot of retailers by licensing, and in this way, we could have a very fast growth. And, and, and that's because it, it's dry, the demand is drying up a little bit in Japan right now? Uh, not really. Uh, the market size is keeping up, yeah. but however, we are shifting more to direct sales to licensing. Okay. So you may see a little bit of uh, sales going down, but the profitability is going up. All right. Thank you very much.